But if you have a rat infestation, this is one of the best ways to deal with it. One after another, you'll catch the rats. Every day on my channel, I'm contacted by YouTube viewers who are desperate for advice on how to catch a rat. A rat's moved in their house or garage and they don't know what to do. Well, today for Mouse Trap Monday, I'm gonna show you my all-time favorite rat trapping system, along with some tips and tricks on how to catch these extremely smart rodents. I've caught some pretty amazing video of rats around traps. Either they're fast enough to take the bait and jump away without getting caught, or the all-time smartest rat that I've ever dealt with that night after night would take a stick, set off the trap, and then eat the bait. That is a very smart rat, and today I'm gonna to show you how to catch even genius rodents. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, I review mouse and rat traps. I have a collection with over a thousand different variations. I've tested out every possible way to catch a rat. And what I'm gonna do for this video is set up a system using one of the most common and successful rat traps in history, the Victor Snat Trap. But we are gonna make some modifications, so let me show you how to set up the ultimate rat trap system. For anyone who hasn't set one of these before, here's our standard Victor Rat Trap. When it comes out of the package, it has a staple that holds down the setting arm right here. We'll pull that back. It's mounted to a wooden base. There's two powerful springs. There's different trigger options. For this one, I'm using the expanded plastic. And on those springs, there's a kill bar. This thing has so much power, it will instantly break the neck of any rat where it comes down on its neck. To set it, we pull this back carefully, pull over the setting bar, and hook it in the trigger. You place the bait right there. When a rat comes along and tries to get the bait, it gets it right on the neck and it dies very quickly. A very efficient trap with a long history. Now these were first invented in 1894 by a man named William Hooker. Here's an original example. Back then they were sold under the brand name Out of Sight. This is very old, but it will still work for catching rats. So I'm gonna show you some tips on how to make this rat trap system even better. Now when set correctly, these traps can be very effective on their own. You place them along a wall so the rat travels down, hits the trigger, and gets caught. But for smart rats, I've made some modifications. Here's the system I came up with for catching a single rat. It consists of a box with a lid that opens. There's a platform right here in front of it, so when you catch a rat, if it bleeds, it's not bleeding on the floor. Now this box on the side and back here is designed to fit perfectly the height of the arm right here. That's your tallest point with the trap kind of stuck right there, let me get it. So as you can see, that just goes right above the arm. When the trap goes off, that will fling up and not hit the lid. We have a lid on a hinge that comes down. That way the rat can't enter from the sides, the back, or top. It has to come from the front. It's perfectly lined up with the kill bar. Now if you're just using a trap, sometimes you'll catch a big rat and it'll thrash all over the place and make a huge mess or pull your trap away. I don't want that happening, so I secured the trap to the base using a few screws. Now I also don't want a rat pulling out, so I've added four nails in the front. That way when the kill bar comes down, it should instantly break its neck, but if not, it's not getting away. Now setting this trap with the narrow walls are kind of tricky. You don't want to smash your fingers. So I've developed a safety system with a bar through holes in the side. You pull back the kill bar and set that. That way you can get the trigger just right. And when you're all ready, you pull out the bar and you don't have to worry about your fingers. The first thing we're gonna do is place the peanut butter in the bait cup right there. Now we can lift up that setting arm, pull back the kill bar, and then install our safety rod. As long as the metal rod's in there, our hands are safe. Now on the pedal, there's two letters. It says F and S. F stands for firm and S for sensitive. Sensitive is for rats that are taking your bait with barely touching the pad, and you need it to be a hair trigger to catch them. Firm is if there's vibrations, like by equipment, and you don't want the trap going off with the slightest touch. You want the rat to step on there to get it. It's easy to set with a firm and difficult with the sensitive. For example, we'll pull the sensitive up, and it just wants to slide out. What the setting bar lets me do is get it to be a hair trigger without smashing my fingers. And finally, I wanna place sunflower seeds in the back of the trap to draw them over the pedal if they don't eat the peanut butter. Now all I have to do is pull out our safety rod and close the lid. Now one of the biggest mistakes you can make is not setting enough traps. You can make several of the singles, or what I did here is make a trap that holds four. 
That way you can place different bait like Nutella, peanut butter, beef jerky. You can find out what the rat likes and you place sunflower seeds in the back. You increase your chances of catching a rat by four times. The one problem is if you do catch a rat, the jolting might set off the other traps, but that's okay. I'd rather set too many traps and get every rat than not set enough. In fact, when friends and family call me with a rat problem, I don't bring my single or even this one that holds four. I made one of these systems that holds 10 traps. That way I know I have enough traps to solve the problem the first time. Now, if you build one of these systems and you're not catching rats, but you know the rats are around, you might try another trick. And that is place this system with the traps unset. Completely fill each compartment with sunflower seeds and wait until you see that those seeds are gone. Now I tried this trick with a huge rat infestation and I was amazed how well it worked. When I didn't set the traps, the young and stupid rats took the bait. And after a while, the smarter rats, the adult rats, after seeing it was safe, would take the bait as well. So after feeding them night after night, they became very comfortable with climbing over the traps to get the food. And then one night I pulled a switcheroo and caught 10 rats. I set it up the next night and got 10 more. But if you have a rat infestation, this is one of the best ways to deal with it. One after another, you'll catch the rats. Now you may have to replace the traps even after a single use, or you can use them several times. But each time you set it off, the wire, the trigger gets a little modified and they stop working after a while. So you do have to replace this part, but you can reuse the box. If I get a call from a friend or family member, this is a system I'll bring over to deal with your rat problem. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me art. I love seeing the pictures. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.